What's the deal, my people? You know it is Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you another one. And this one is in the show from we seen Jade have some type of vision when he went in the underground bunker. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what that vision means. What up to my thugs, nerds, freaks, and geeks? You're now rocking with the best of Don Tony Teflon. If you can, please subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. As always, 500 is the like gold. If this video hits 500 likes, I will give a subscriber who leaves a comment on this video one month of epics for free so you can watch from or binge watch it, whatever you want. This is a great show, people. I think it has really good potential. So you should be watching it if you haven't already watched it. So let's get right into this. Now, the character that I like in this show is a guy named Jade. Now, Jade, he went into this underground bunker and he got some type of vision. So I'm going to tell you exactly in this video what that vision means and what it means for the show. I'm going to do a bunch of videos like this. I'll also be doing a call in live stream every week about this show. And if it gets even more popular, maybe we'll do it twice a week. So make sure you're subscribed so you can be notified every time we drop this. All right, let's take a look at this from the jump. Now, back when Jay thought all this was fake, he's riding this bicycle. He finds this underground bunker. Let's just call it a crypt because I like the word crypt. He goes inside of this crypt thinking that, hey, this is all a game. This guy just made this whole thing up. This is just some type of great escape room. That's what he's thinking that this whole place is some really outlandish and elegant and just a well put together escape room. So he goes down there and while he's down there, he opens up, let's just call it a cupboard. And inside of this cupboard, when he opens it up, he sees a dead person laying there. And while he sees this dead person laying there, this dead person opens his mouth and screams at him. After he does that, he falls down, he looks up, and he sees a symbol on the roof. That is basically what it is. Next time we see him, he has to show somebody about this. So he goes in there, he bags up the deputy sheriff, he brings him down there, and he explains to him exactly what went on. Now, the deputy sheriff kind of does not believe him. And he says, listen, I've done a lot of drugs. I know when I'm hallucinating. This was not a hallucination. This was real. There was something going on. And I think that it was suspect that the deputy sheriff, you know, he should believe him. After living in this town and seeing all the things that happened in this town, you would think the deputy sheriff would believe him. So to me, it's suspect that the way he acted like this could not have happened. There's no way that this could happen. I don't know exactly why that goes the way it is or why he acts the, that way, but I do find this suspect because listen, if you've seen some creatures that are coming out at night and eating people, you would think that, hey, if that could happen, anything's possible. Maybe he did see this, but for some reason, he just tried to push it off like this could not be. So that's suspect to me. Before I tell you exactly what this is, people have asked me this question in the comments section, so I want to answer it. And I want you to leave all the comments, especially questions that you want answered, leave it in the comments section. I will do my best to answer it. And if it's a really good topic, I'll make a whole video on it and give you a shout out for it. So the question was, what happens to these creatures when the daytime is going on? Where are they at? Where are they hiding? Now, we've seen the thing with a tree that can teleport people around. So people may think they're in a tree. I think it's a good chance that they could be the crows. We see these crows all the time flocked around and hanging out. Now, if we look at them as some form of vampires, I know people said maybe that type of vampire not exactly, but if we do look at them as some type of vampire, we know that vampires turn into bats, right? That's a known vampire thing. So it would not be a stretch that these people turn into crows. We've seen the crows from the jump 
of the beginning so there has to be some significance to it i know that people just like to put them in movies because they're creepy and they make a lot of noise but yes i do believe there's a great possibility that these people are the crows themselves when you see them in the daytime and at nighttime they come into their normal form which is you know looks like a human until they're about to eat you then they turn into what they turn to if you have an idea what these people are or where they go in the daytime please put it in the comment section i want to hear about it again we're doing a live stream calling live stream so you'll be able to put your opinions on that calling live stream so make sure that you join us on that all right let's get right into it so we know it's not a hallucination and the fact that they bring it up again and he brings somebody there and shows him means that it's significant what happened to him in this vision means something or they would not bring it up twice they want us to understand that something is going on here that's why they brought it up twice so the vision basically what he sees is a guy who's crushed to death on some rock that's what he sees and that's exactly what it looks like we see some blood coming out of this person's eyes a little bit out of his mouth and then the person starts to scream right so it looks like the guy is being crushed by a rock but I don't think that's exactly what happened. I think we were giving the answer of exactly what happened to him in the next episode. And we were given that answer by Victor. That is right, Victor. Victor is the key to this whole damn show. He has the most information because he's been there the longest. Everything will always tie back to him. But when he was out in the woods and he was talking about the trees... I think he told us exactly what happened to this person, and this is what it is. How does it do that? Oh, guess what? What? It looks what? different, too. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I apologize for the audio right there. I know it's a little messed up, a little wonky, but I think you can hear exactly what he says. When he puts the stone inside the tree, we see the stone drop out of the sky. And then he says, how does that happen? He says that it works on people also, but you never know where you're going to end up. You could end up here. You could end up far away or you could end up stuck inside of a mountain or something. And I think that's exactly what happened to this guy. He's not stuck inside of a mountain, but he's stuck inside of a boulder. Or maybe that's a piece of a mountain. But I think that's exactly what happened to this person. They went inside of a tree, hoping to get somewhere else, maybe just to find their way out of there. And instead, they wound up inside of a boulder and died. And that is what that is. That's to me what the vision is. Maybe you have a different idea of what the vision is. If you think it's something else, please put it in the comment section. In my next video, I'm going to tell you exactly what that symbol means above him. I know exactly what it means. So I will tell you that in my next video. And again, make sure you join us for the live stream so you can call in and give all your thoughts and your opinions on everything that's going to happen in in this show and i'll answer all the questions you got so if you like the way i do this please thumbs up this spread this across the realm and as always subscribe and until next time you know who it is peace and stay sexy